morning guys welcome to friday thank goodness it's friday it's been a long week i have bad news sophie so uh, the bad news is the male turkey is sexually mature now you know how i can tell he's trying to mate with you. you know he's trying to mate with my friend's kid because my friend's kid was the right size for him and suddenly he loves kids <laughs> extra loves kids <laughs> this is a girl <laughs> Sophie just catches them. This is your girl. This is my girl. I know. I, I just she let me catch her. I know. They're like so friendly. They're so affectionate though. Anyway, so Don't uh, the the boy turkey was like following this little boy around and I'm like saying to his mom, Oh, he's he's all puffed up and all like flirty trying to make himself beautiful and the mom's like, What is he doing? I'm like, Oh, he's just trying to protect your little guy. He thinks that you're a stranger and and he likes he likes your little guy so he's like pretending or he's trying to protect them and i'm like thank goodness people don't know about animals <laughs> like honestly because i didn't want to say oh yeah my turkey's trying to mate with your little boy <laughs> the boy turkey tried to bait mate with my friend's kid today oh, that's a duck. i mean it never came close but he was posturing and like getting all fancy and his mom is like what is he doing and i'm like oh he's just being protective of him <laughs> i'm like thank god people don't know about animal life oh did you catch a duck oh is it the boy oh, it's, the girl. it's the girl i always wanted to hold her oh so we went to the Big Apple today to get apples this morning and we saw the ducks there and they're so big. Like You catch one and they all fall on you. I didn't realize how tiny our ducks are. Like she is so tiny. Like she's barely, barely a handful. We love you. You're just the cutest duck. <laughs> Toad's like, what are you doing? So the ducks and the turkeys and the guineas and those three chickens yeah look how pretty just wait let's see if i Don't can get bite it my duck. so she's got like this beautiful blue green oh is it green it's like a teal green oh look at that so good it looks like indigo blue now just lay eggs yeah. yeah well now the turkeys are ready like see him he's like be careful going around him now because i was watching him and he was like posturing and puffing himself up and the sure sign that he wants to mate is that he Don't does look this at me like that excuse <laughs> you go <laughs> he does this thing with his wing they do these th this thing with their wing when they're doing like a mating dance the roosters do it too and i was like as soon as he started doing that i was like oh gosh well, give me some peas and water here we go you're sitting down so we can do it to you no he doesn't like me but they're very protective of the duck so see he is very protective of the duck so this little group of chickens these three chickens that we got that uh somebody gave me that are supposed to be what are they supposed to be they're supposed to be jersey giants but there's no way that they're jersey giants they're smaller than regular chickens for goodness sake he's like you better not but this little group of animals that keeps on coming outside of the fence line because they don't like the other animals they are honestly the friendliest what are you, what are you doing yeah <laughs> don't worry zobi only the pig likes you <laughs> look at her eyes oh, poor zobi oh they're brown I think look i want to see oh, him. him yeah he's like that's my girl but you know what so we're gonna get rid of one probably two of our ducks soon because we can't have all boys and the boys actually all sleep together and are best friends he's circling me because he wants his duck <laughs> i know he's there see every time she calls out he's like put that baby down see everybody's very protective except for the guineas who are super selfish <laughs> Oh, he's so sweet. No. Uh oh, I don't think he's gonna attack him. I tried to put him down, and he tried to jump. I around. think he's hold just... your turkey. While <laughs> I'm Come here, turkey. Whoa. Yeah, see? Oh, oh, oh. It's him. He just is hurting them, telling them to be safe. Just no, that's not he's what guard, that was. That is not. Yeah, he is a guard turkey. But that is not what that that is what that was. If he was wanting to breed her, let me tell you, no, he attack her. He's not like, a get away from my humans. 
No. So last night I left you guys with Posey acting different. So uh, before I went up to the house, I took her temperature. So uh, she was like borderline, kind of had a fever. It was a little sluggish. She was eating still, drinking still, but not the same way. Like she just seemed different. So I talked to the vet and she said definitely give her antibiotics. So we went back down last night. I gave her some electrolyte water and I gave her some electrolytes. Yeah, it was dark and we all went down. I'll show you my setup. Needless to say, I kept her inside today and we're just gonna give her her second do dose of antibiotics. She oh. <laughs> oh, she looks so good. Oh man, she looks so good. But she definitely was starting to get sick. I feel like... Walk by her. I feel that you, she's good. We had our antibiotics here. They have, uh, with our needle. I had a little thing of flashlights. I had this syringe that I made, put the electrolytes in and gave them to her. And then I, while she was kind of not feeling herself, I tried to trim some of her toes and it worked so good. But look at her, like she was not like this yesterday, was she? She was definitely not feeling herself. Even this morning when I was down here, she didn't eat like, so this morning she didn't eat all of her breakfast, but she ate some of it. Now all of her breakfast is gone. Good piggy. She's probably hyper from the electrolyte water. I put some more electrolytes in that water. But she's doing good. So anyways, one thing that we discovered in our family, one of us is excellent at needles. Like phenomenal at needles. You're either gifted at injections or you're not. And Gabby, Gabby, you should be a nurse. You were a nurse and you suck. She is gifted at needles. So come on in, let's give her her other needle. Can you hold her this time? Yeah, I feel like it's not gonna be as easy to hold her. <laughs> Sam, come on, we need your help. No, last time I had to hold her on my lap. Yeah, anyway, because we know Posey so well, we were able to recognize when she wasn't herself. And because she had like the start of a fever, we caught it right on time and I don't know, it, I don't know what she got, but the vet also said we should worm her. Mm -hmm. She was wormed about three months ago, um, but I'm gonna worm her again after she's better. So she gets three injections of this antibiotic, but by the looks of her, I think she'll probably be able to go outside tomorrow. It did really good for you, huh? Uh, here's my thermometer that we use too. So I, I told Sam, like, Sam, you gotta hold the pig. And he's like, why, what are you doing? And I'm like- You have to make a pig holder like that thing? I'm like, I'm just watching. And he said, why can't you hold her? I'm like, I'm not good at holding her other. All right, let's see what we can do here. Come here, piggy. That's what I told them. First of all, I, where do you? We do it behind her while she already knows. She's like, don't touch me. So we do an injection behind her ear. And I have these alcohol swabs, so I'm cleaning behind her ears. Yes. What? She's like, no. Are you still looking? Yeah. All right, so how are we gonna do it? I don't know, to hold her? Yeah. Gabby, get ready. Okay, Gabby, get ready, because we're gonna both hold her. Wait, which ear do you want? Whatever ear you want. Oh, she's not gonna be happy. So you're supposed to flip them on their back, and we tried that yesterday, and it didn't work as good. Oh, my head. Girl, yeah. Girl. Oh, yeah. Squealing. That was good. We're gonna figure out a, a setup. We can <laughs> hook her on a head. on a bungee up here. <laughs> break it. So. Oh, they know that little goat thing. Will that hold her up? No, probably. She's gonna roly poly on out of that. All right. At least you're done for now. We did good. <laughs> Gabby is like, she's just, I don't like to, I don't like to, I just don't like to. But, I mean, it didn't really hurt her that much. She just is anticipating it because she came around so fast. The vet said two or three days. So, it's once a day. And she came around so good. I'm going to give her some more. I'm going to give her a treat right now because she deserves it. But yesterday when we did, we gave her that shot. She just ran right into that thing. And she was like so mad at us. I'm going to sit here with her for a little bit and just spend some time with her. She's not going to come near me. Come here, Posey. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I hate you all. That's the beauty of knowing your animals so well. Like, come on. 
when you know them that well, you can like figure out when they're not well just so fast. Come here, Pose. That'll tell us if she's feeling better. Yeah, here. Do you forgive me? I'll forgive you for screaming at the top of your lungs. So other people wrap them in blankets. Other people put them on their back, but it just doesn't work for us that way. Holding her on her back freaks her out so much more. But today she let me trim her feet. I didn't get all of them done. No. No. Good girl. Yeah. See how slow they eat? Pigs literally eat the slowest out of every animal. Trust me. It's the bane of my existence. You forgive me? Hey. She may never trust me again. Or at least she may never trust me. She won't trust me. <laughs> I know. Cats, the, the girl. I like raised these kids so good. Like, they're farm kids. Gabby just wields a needle like you nobody's business. And Sophie can manhandle any animal that needs to be manhandled. I'm proud of them. I know, but poking them just hurts my heart. Like, it just, I get so much anxiety about poking them because I love her so much. I just don't want to poke her. But Gabby has so much confidence. And she gets it in there. And then, like, I can poke her. But then if she starts freaking out, I'm like, ah. I don't know. I'm still the kind of person that it closes my eyes when something gets scary. Yeah, she does. Poke the pig. Yeah. So, <laughs> all I can say is that my posy pig is on the mend. She got herself some antibiotics and I'm going to worm her this week. This coming week. She said to let her like recover first and then worm her. But she definitely was on her way to being sick and now she's better. Like I'm shocked how much better she is today. I checked on her in this I checked on her first thing in the morning and she was a little bit better, but she was still kind of sluggish. She went over there, and instead of trying to go out in the morning, she went and laid down over there. I could just tell she wasn't feeling good. She's cold now, though. Last night, she was a bit hot. Save the day, posy pig. You're all fixed up. We should check. We should switch it up next time and let Gabby hold the pig. <laughs> I don't poke anything else but the pig. <laughs> yeah, I know. Gabby, yeah, you think you could hold her? No, I don't like touching my face. <laughs> weak. So that, my friend, is what our house looks like. Ellie elast Ellie elastics everywhere. You put Your dog keeps taking Ellie's elastic off. The dog doesn't do anything with this one. <laughs> yeah, she does. Everybody fights to be the last one out because they don't want to have to lock the gate. <laughs> so we all fight. <laughs> Your girlfriend is going to be fine. I know you were worried. The horse has probably heard the squealing. Look at Gracie. All you see are these two googly eyes sticking out of the field. Good for juice. Good for juice? Good for, oh, I, I love these pairs. See, yeah, they're I like... My juicer. I bought a juicer, right? I found a big one. Oh, good. They're just starting to fall properly. This is, um, squishy. Yeah, it's good for juice. It's perfect. All of the good pears are way up high. You want a pear? He's like, oh, I love pears. <laughs> These pears are so good. Here, 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 look. Oh, can you get it? Look, turn to the right, turn to the right. Keep going, a little bit more. I have faith in you. You got it. No, nope, he didn't get it. <laughs> You're not the, oh, there he goes. You don't like pears? Shoot, I wasted my pear. So Sam wants to use our pears this year to make pear juice. I found there's a perfect pear up there. I can't reach that one. You get, get it, it grab there's it. There's one directly above the last one that you got. I say you climb the tree, Gabby. You used to be a really good tree climber. Uh, no, I wasn't. You were. You used to climb the tree all the time when you were four and five and six years old. Nick used to help me. All right, we need Nick here after school he's like come here and he threw me up there so okay. sam used to come home from work okay. and there was a big giant tree in the front yard and gabby and nick used to hide up there and then jump out and surprise sam i don't remember that i just remember coming home one day come here you're gonna climb the tree what all the good ones are way up high so we might have to wait till they fall don't you know that you're beautiful just the